Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you want my personal one-on-one -on -one help, visit the description below. There's a number of ways you can get in contact with me, either through WhatsApp, through booking a free 15 to 20 minute Zoom call with me, or you can send me any questions you might have to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com, right? So visit the description below, number of ways you can get, get in contact with me if you need more help with your sports training business. So today I wanna to talk about how to avoid denied payments, right? So a couple of weeks ago, had a call with a coach and this coach is in soccer and he said to me, Leo, I have all my clients on subscription, right? They're on a monthly roll on subscription and one of my clients was on a three month commitment. That three months was running out and that pain, that, that fr the upcoming three months was going to renew automatically. So what happened was that the payment for that renewal failed. So essentially the coach got an email from that client because they, that client got a notification from their bank to say that a payment has been failed. So that, co that, that, that parent texted the coach to say that they are not continuing for the next three months. So this became a massive loss in, in business revenue for this trainer. And I believe uh, the amount of money they lost from that client was it was anywhere between 800 to, to 1k for a three month for the next three months of of training so something i want to wanted to come on here and share with you is how do you avoid this scenario in the future now this coach first of all there was no contract in place with that customer which means that the customer could essentially do anything they wanted. If they wanted to wake up one morning and cancel the payment, they were entitled to do that because they didn't sign anything with the coach. Now, even if there was a contract in place, that contract can protect you to a certain point. So this is why what we do at our company here and what coaches in our sports accelerator program are currently doing most of them okay and if you want to learn more about our accelerator program send me a message to either my email or whatsapp below and i'll be more than happy to to respond to you to jump on a call and explain to you a little bit more about what our sports accelerator program is but essentially what this coach should have done okay and if you are in a similar situation where you have clients consistently cancelling on you whether that be a payment online or whether that be a payment in person the way to overcome this problem is to transition all your payments to upfront so when that parent joins right they've already paid you the three, six, nine, or 12 months upfront for the training. Now, that not only protects you in cases like this, but also if you have a contract in place, any parent that then contacts you and wants a refund because they can't, they can't continue past the three months, right? So say, for example, they've paid you for six months upfront and then halfway down that contract, they decide, right, we can't commit anymore. And they request a refund from you. You are protected because not only are you now in control of the money, okay, because they've, you've collected that already, but also you can now control the situation in terms of you can sit down with the client 
and explain to them your terms and conditions. Now, some coaches may refund the client, okay? Other coaches may stick to their guns and say to them, right, unfortunately, we don't offer a refund as you guys have, has, have made a commitment to training with us for six months, okay? Now, either way, I think is good, Okay, if you want to refund a, a client, that's completely okay. Now, if you want to stick to your terms and conditions with your contract, then I think that's perfect as well. In the past, I have refunded clients, but I've only refunded clients who I felt have one been very committed and dedicated to the, to the company and who are good clients and customers. And by that, that meaning as well, that they are, they are customers who have referred other parents to my business. And there's been more, there's been more sales made off of that one client. So if that is the case, then I would happily refund that parent because they have generated more revenue for my business. But any parent that is new, has just committed, right? I would stick to my principles, stick to my contract and say to them, these are the terms and conditions, right? Now you might have in that contract a clause that they have to let you know within 30 days of canceling, or they have to let you know within two months of your last training session. Okay, however you have it, but two things that will help you to overcome this situation where a, a parent has a failed payment and you can't now get paid is number one, getting the payment up front for whether it be one month, two month, three month, six month, nine months or 12 months. And also having a contract in place to protect you in the event of a text message or an email or a phone call off a parent saying to you that they cannot continue past the second, third or fourth month. Okay. So if you need more help with this, right, this is something we teach in our Sports Accelerator program. Get in contact with me. Be more than happy to jump on a call. Talk to you a little bit more about our program how it's helped coaches in all sports. Some coaches at the moment are making six figures. Other coaches are nearly there. But I'll be more than happy to jump on a call, talk to, our, talk to you a bit about our program, and even show you some results of the coaches who are currently in the program, okay, and use them as social proof, okay? So thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, and if you need more help, again, visit the description below to, to book a free 15 to 20 minute call or reach out to me with any questions.